Do you remember the Coke commercial of a few years ago where they said, it's the real thing? I had a knock on my door the other day, and I'm not making this up, and the man that came to my door was a door-to-door -door salesman, and he was selling synthetic grass. And uh, it was the most surreal, funny thing when I was talking to the guy. It, it just made my whole afternoon. He says, you know, he says your whole front yard is dead. And I said, well, I said, uh, it is basically because of the drought and we have water restrictions and so on. He said, well, I'm here to tell you about synthetic turf. And I have one of their brochures right here. He wanted to put down plastic grass in my yard. And it says design, install, and maintain. <laughs> what is there to maintain if you put down plastic grass? But, but anyway, I told him, I said, well, listen, I would rather have dead grass than plastic grass. And he shook my hand and he said, well, congratulations, <laughs> because you've got it right now. You know, there is, there is a, a real incredible lesson to be learned here. There is real faith, and there is synthetic faith. And it talks about this in the Bible, where Jesus says, if they stand on street corners praying, they will have their reward. It is when a person takes real faith inside of themselves. And it's not in front of other people. It's not to make a show. It's, it's for their own soul. And then you see, you see the demonstration of what this does in the person's life. And perhaps that is the greatest worship service that you'll ever see. Seeing a person succeed when they shouldn't, when they have all the odds against them, but they have something burning inside of them that keeps them alive, keeps them ticking, keeps them on the move towards their goals. Then you see them reach their goals. That is real faith. When you can't see it with your eyes, when you can't feel it yet, except deep inside of you, well, that is the kind of faith that I, I encourage you to have. I don't want you to have a synthetic faith. I don't want you to have a faith that is just ritual. I, I want you to have something real that you can, you can tangibly feel inside of yourself that empowers you, that keeps you moving. Now, my front yard... I know the truth. The next time it rains, it will come back, and it will be more beautiful than ever. And it is true. That's the way it is. And it's also true of us when we have faith in God, when we know we're not alone. Even when we're down, we know we're going to be up again and up higher than we've ever been before. Build reserves of faith inside of you make it real, and demonstrate it in real ways in your life. God bless you.